Hey guys, welcome back to another video of it. We'll play today. We are playing Wake the Dead from Choices. Let's begin. You found the materials you need for the co for your colony, but what will it cost you? I hope it doesn't cost me anything. And also, um, I think we're being targeted by construction workers. Yeah, I I'm surprised. Wait, let's let's see. Um, Get lost. These materials are ours, and there are plenty of zombies in the woods around here. Woods around here hungry for fresh meat. This is a huge misunderstanding. We came here looking for supplies to reinforce our colony. Figured it would be abandoned. If we'd known there were already people here, we never would have snuck in like that. There must be some arrangement we can come to. Maybe we can help each other? <coughs> we've got the materials we need, and we've got plenty of food. How about a trade? Or I could, Or I could help you build some stuff. Always need to have more engineers around, right? Put your weapons in here, then we'll pass down the ladder. And why should we trust you? It's us or the zombies. Take your pick. Anyone else getting sick of the trust? Trust the perching weirdo? Or getting eaten alive routine? Hey! Once again, doesn't seem like we've got much of a choice. Okay, okay, if you got your weapons, now let us up. Bring that up bring that up behind you. Don't want don't wanna know if those those things have figured out how to climb. Excellent point. Wake the dead. <clears throat> Chapter 8. Build up or tear down? The name's Walt. The name's Walt Arbogast. Welcome to Skywell. Arbogast? Like Glen Arbogast? Glenn was my father. He passed. A, he passed on a few years back. But where did you hear the? But where did you hear his name? But where did you hear his name? I read a magazine that talked about his work. That's how we got the idea to look for materials here. He was always going on and on about how us younger workers were going to take this place and turn it into something the world had, had never seen. Guess he wasn't quite wrong. This is impressive. How long have you been here? Since the outbreak started. I was the only, I was only an apprentice iron worker back then. Figured out pretty quick that it wasn't safe on the ground. We had this place at our disposal, so we built up. That's incredible. Most of us here are either working on the building or related to someone who was. K 
kids learn to use use the tools of the trade as soon as they can hold them. Anything we can't build, we barter for. Do you think you could gather the leaders of this place? I like I like a meeting with them to propose a trade alliance. Well, you're in luck. I'm the foreman. Okay then. <clears throat> then what do you say to say to giving us some of those materials in exchange for some fresh fruits and vegetables? I don't know. We've been doing all right for food these last few months. You can never have enough though, right? Especially if we're going to make it through the big zombie surge at the solstice. It's time for another one of those already? I suppose we ought to stack stock up then. So we've got ourselves an alliance? Now hold on just a second. Second kid, if you really want to trade with us, you're going to have to sweeten the pot. With what? Argon shield gas. We use it for wheel wielding and these days it's hard to come by. You just gotta bring back a couple of tanks and you can have the materials you need. What is this, a side quest? We'll probably need some of it anyway if we want to put together anything sturdy for Olympus. So what's the catch? There's gotta be a catch. <coughs> well the tanks are heavy takes a whole team of people to move them and the place they're stored is chock full of zombies we've got a deal man here I wasn't I was expecting some more pushback I'll do whatever it takes to protect my people even if that means putting myself at risk <laughs> I like you kid it's it's too late to go tonight, and we don't exactly got any extra beds, so I'll lend you some safety harnesses. Oh, thank God, I was getting vertigo just standing here. You get used to it. Just clip yourself to one of the beams and try to get some rest. I'm not to be sure how easy that's going to be. What's that? That be the local pub. Hold it up here. Hold it up years ago, back when the crane was still working. Awesome. We've got food and drinks up there. If you're, if you're up for the climb, might even win something if you're willing to make a bet. I'd do just about anything to get off these beams for just for a bit. And you know, I can never refuse a gamble. You here you here for a drink? <sighs> yes, please. We'll take we'll take the house special whatever that is. Five cups of beer coming up. I think I'll pass. You know, people in the old world would have killed to see to sample a special sample a specialty beer like this.
Not bad. Not sure it's worth killing over. In, if you're brewing beer, that means you must have a vet around here somewhere. She's down a few levels, so we don't have to worry about her exploding from overheating. Not that she could. Just her, just getting her temperature, getting her up to temperature. You ever consider mixing thermal and electricity, or electric? Well, now I have. Where do you even get the grain? Drain mostly. All you surface dwellers, or just grow crops. Moves of some kind. You almost always need more, need more mechanical eye. I can't believe you don't produce any of your own food. That seems precarious. You've seen the rest of the t this town. Precarious is our way of life. When I was little, I had to wear my safety harness any time I was outside the house. Always had to be clipped in. I don't even think... I don't even think I stepped onto solid ground until I was in my teens. So what did you do all day? Just sit around inside? Not at all. We worked like everybody else. My mom showed me how to fix a leak in the roof when I was only a few years old. I thought our life was dark or I totally rocked that. What do you mean I've got a drink? You hit your own nail. No, those are the rules. What you playing? The stomp game. Me, I'll flip a hammer. Catch it in the air and then try to hit your own's nail. Last one of standing wins. Manage to hit someone else's nail, they drink. You mess up, you drink. So the longer it goes, the drunker you are, and the harder it is to win. It sounds dangerous and kind of fun. Some of you want to get in on this round? Depends what depends what's on the line. A bundle of dynamite. You're kidding. Sign us up. All right. Why don't two of you show us what you've got? Can't have all five of you competing. That wouldn't be fair. Are you sure? I've never done anything like this before. Which is exactly why I want to give you a chance. I mean, what else are you going to? and get to play a drinking game in a box in the sky. Giving our odds of dying a given day? Probably never. All right, I'll do my best. You're up, kid. No dice. You know what that means. Drink up. <laughs> Just have to flip the hammer. I'm afraid that's a miss, dearie. Oh. Don't worry about it. It was your first time playing. After all. Oh, in that case, 
We'll just call the last one a trial run. You can go again. No need to be upset. I did it. I did it. Knew you had it in you. I believe that means the dynamite is ours. You got spunk. I'll give you that. Sorry, y'all, but we're closing up for the night. I gotta get some shut eye. Thanks for your hospitality. Hopefully, it won't be the last time we get to enjoy it. You're welcome anytime. Pull me up, pull me up. I'm coming. Be careful. But if you slip, then we're both dead. Okay, get ready to pull. That was way too close. Everything okay down there? Just some early morning adrenaline. Sorry about that. One of the perils of living in the sky. Those in the sky. If you're all ready to get started, I'll introduce you to our guy, to your guide. This is, this is Mina, my daughter. She'll be able to show you where the or, the organ gas is stored and figure out which tanks are still full. And you better bring her back in one piece. You hear me? Ignore my overprotective father. I thought you might want these for the run. They've been in my toolbox for years. Leather and steel. <laughs> Easy. They'll give you all the grip you need to move the tanks. And they're not bad for punching zombies either. It wouldn't it would be nice to get in close without worry about tearing my hands apart. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like these already. Great. Well, let's get a move on. So, what's the plan? Your dad said this place was full of zombies. Oh, there's plenty of zombies in there. But that's not the worst part. Is the worst part tenacious because it looks like tenacious? Everyone knows drones come running for loud noises, right? Well, this place is a soup is just a super awesome combo of big echo we space and piles of metal scrap. Just wait just waiting to be knocked over. Sounds like home. 
Sounds like a death trap. Potato, potato. You just said... You just said potato twice. It's potato... Uh, potato, potato, right? Follow me. Looks clear, except for the million dark corners of where the drone could be hiding. At least we made it out of that crawl space in one piece. Tell that to my jeans. They've gone from distressed to disfigured. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. We can get past a couple measly drones. Sorry, but the more sound we make the more drones will show up got it where do we find the gas bottles they're huge what was But I was going to have to gnaw it off now for a second. Uh, you're welcome. Jackpot. These three are almost full. If we can get them past those drones. Wait, we can't bring them out the way we... we wait, we can't bring them out the way we came in? They won't fit. If you gotta carry them out out the long way. Great. Awesome. Anything else we need to know? Will the tanks explode if we drop them? Define explode. Mm. Ready? Lift. Yeah, if we knocked over the if we knocked over the pipes, we will alert more zombies. Gross. Uh, it would be best if no one stepped in that. You think? Uh, something tells me we shouldn't wait around in this stuff. Yeah, 
that's going to be a big nope for me. Without the tanks, we could probably climb over the machines. With the tanks, no way. And I've climbed some pretty sketchy. Sketchy like that thing. You want to carry these heavy tanks all the way up there. You might be the only option, unless that crane still works. Mess with old machine. He sounds too risky. We'll just watch. We'll just watch where we step. Starting to regret my choices. <laughs> Get it? Too late now, unless you want to quietly sheep these all the way down. No, thank you. I'm whispering because they're whispering. Don't look down. Don't look down. Keep on moving, don't look down. Let's maybe rest here for a sec, just till I can feel my fingers again. Just think back in the old world, this could have been a hot new fitness craze. All we need is a snappy name, tank fit, organize. <laughs> I will drop this on your head. Almost fr home free. Come here. You see, you can see your neck. It's it. Too bad. Hey, Anthony, you still got that dynamite we won? Oh, for the love of... Am I nuts, or were we trying not to make a zombie summoning rocket? Okay, smarty pants. Except, what if we made a big zombie summoning racket somewhere else? That seems sensible, actually. Aw, no one's ever called me that before. Brace yourselves. Fire in the hole. actually kind of worked. Get ready. It's now or never. Get to the van. One down. Coming through. Cover them. Ok, 
kill him in the head. That's the only way to kill him. The hero. Where are the others? We need to go. They were right behind us. Go, we've got this. Shannon, Minna. Use some help over here. Just hold on, I'll be right. Always. Now we need to go help. You know what we have to do. We... Shut up and give me your belt now. Effie, I dropped my axe right over there. If we can amputate the arm before the person has a chance to spread. You want, you want me to cut off her arm? Better than Eli's plan. It's her only chance. But we have to do it now. Do it. Then I'm sorry. Eli, you and Angel go find Minna and Shannon's gas tank. We need to get out of here as fast as possible. He's not gonna like this. A lot of time you got back. Everything go all right? Baby? Yeah. 
What happened? Dad, stop. I got surrounded. Drone. The drone bit my hand. Anthony saved me. I'm so sorry, Walt. It was the only way to keep her from turning. So did you get the gas or did you just mutilate my daughter for no, no reason? We managed to bring back three ta full tanks. That's more than enough to make some upgrades to both our colonies. Now get your materials and get get out of my sight. Wait, well, let's let's take Minna with us, please. I'll be able to better treat her back at Olympus. Fine, but me and some of my people are coming with you. Don't trust you lot to take care of her after what I've seen today. And I want to make sure you hand over that food you owe us. Would you want a zombified daughter? It was the only way. The infirmary's inside. If Mina can, I've got her. Just lead the way, Doc. Did you get what we needed? We got the materials, and we even brought some engineers back with us. Though it didn't exactly go as planned. Go exactly as planned. Don't look so glum. This means we can finally get started on the wall. We need to think about what kind of barrier we want, want to build. All of them are going are going to have benefits and drawbacks. Chain link would give us the sidelines. But it's thin. The zombies could tear through it and people can climb it. So then we go with a solid metal sheet. Harder to scale and then cut through. But it'd make our range fighters basically useless. Chain light fence. I better go with, I I'm better with the sheet metal wall. Then we'll get to work. Are we under attack? Is it the raiders? Intruders spotted by the back gate. They're wearing tower, tower uniforms. And they're getting away. Seems like the towers discovered our colony. Twenty two days till solstice. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, share it with your friends, comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of any video video I put up on my channel. Hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.